If you've ever been convicted of a serious crime in the United States or many other countries around the world, it wouldn't be unusual to be given a life sentence. However, a life sentence doesn't always mean you'll literally be in prison for life. In some cases, a life sentence may only mean 25 years behind bars before you're eligible for parole. Though, in some rare cases, parole eligibility is withheld. Regardless, sometimes individuals who've committed especially heinous crimes are given insane punishments, sometimes being given hundreds of years behind bars. There was one particularly scary case from Texas in which a man was given 4,060 years behind bars, ensuring he would never see the light of day again. More often than not, when someone commits a terrible crime like murder, they'll never be released from prison. However, in a handful of truly remarkable cases, criminals have outlived their sentences and returned to the real world once again. Today, we'll be taking a look at several criminals who outlived incredibly long prison sentences. Be sure to stick around for number one, because this case is absolutely nuts. Before we get started, make sure you hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Paul Geidel Jr. The story of Paul Geidel Jr. is almost unbelievable. This man remained in prison during the sinking of the Titanic, throughout two world wars, and even witnessed the first moon landing. As it would turn out, Paul was given a prison sentence of 68 years and 245 days. This made Paul the longest-serving U.S. inmate at the time. But what could this man have done to receive such a lengthy prison sentence? Well, before we get to that, we need to paint a picture of who Paul was before he made the worst decision of his life. Paul was a bright young man, but he was born to an abusive and alcoholic father who passed away when he was just five years old. Paul would spend the majority of his childhood in an orphanage. By the time he was 14, he decided to quit school and began working odd jobs around town to keep the bills paid. It was around this time that he managed to land a job at a nearby hotel. While he was working at the hotel, a very well-known and wealthy businessman decided to stop by and spend the night. This businessman was none other than William H. Jackson. Paul knew an opportunity when he saw one, so he took it upon himself to claim the man's life while he was asleep, using a rag soaked in chloroform to do the deed. He then ran away from the police and remained at large for a short time. Paul says that his plan was to rob the man and make off with the money, starting a new life elsewhere. However, as it would turn out, the man only happened to be carrying a few dollars at the time. In the end, Paul was given 20 years in prison for the crime. However, as it was nearly time for release, some of the prison workers decided to take a closer look at his mental health, and it was determined that Paul was clinically insane. His prison sentence grew much more complicated from here, and in the end, he was given an additional 48 years behind bars meaning he would be released when he became 80 years old. By the time that day had come, Paul didn't even want to leave prison. After all, he'd spent his entire adult life there. Nonetheless, he was forced to leave and was quickly set up with a nearby nursing home, where he'd spend the next six years until he passed away in 1987. John Francesi the story of John Francesi is equally remarkable. John is living proof that no matter how much time is spent behind bars, some people will never change. John was a senior member of the Mafia, and it's estimated that he led to the deaths of at least 60 people. He was eventually apprehended and sentenced to 50 years in prison. However, after several years passed, he became eligible for parole. He was paroled a total of six times, 
but was sent back to prison each time as he continually violated the rules of his parole. By 2005, it was reported that he was the second most important member of the Mafia, even though he'd spent much of his life behind bars. He was finally released from his sentence at the age of 100. He would continue to live for three more years before he passed away in a hospital in New York at the age of 103. Not only did this man survive one of the longest prison sentences one can be given, but he also managed to live a life that was longer than most of us could have ever dreamed of. Harvey Stewart We don't know too much about Harvey Stewart, but we know that he was given a very, very long prison sentence of 60 years. However, by the time he turned 83, he was able to turn his back on prison life and finally live among the free once again. The biggest hurdle that Harvey needed to overcome was that he had no one in the outside world who cared for him. Prison workers say that he never had any guests while he was in prison, and he never spoke about any family or friends. He had also had no contact with the outside world for more than six decades. We don't know what eventually happened to Harvey, but in 2011, he was released from prison. I'm sure the shock of being returned to the world of the free was bad enough for Harvey, but he also had to face a world that was now filled with new technology he'd never seen before. Talk about a culture shock. I'm sure Harvey made it through life just fine and eventually found friends to help him out, but this man must have been completely clueless about modern living by the time he was released. Charles Edret Ford This case is very tragic and shows how the justice system can sometimes fail us, leading to the imprisonment of people who were completely innocent. Charles Edret Ford was sent to prison for around 64 years before he was finally released. Many prisoners grow bitter while behind bars, either because they're angry for being punished or because they've grown to resent themselves for making such bad decisions. However, Charles was bitter because he'd been locked away for a crime he did not commit. Charles was sent to prison for murder after officers found him to have been in the wrong place at the wrong time. Charles was only 20 years old when he was sent to prison, with everyone working his case believing that he was sent away due to racial discrimination. The African-American man was faced with a jury of all-white members in the early 1950s, securing his fate and taking his freedom away from him. He finally proved his innocence after 64 years and was able to live out the final few years of his life as a free man. Howard Christensen Howard Christensen was a man that no one wanted to mess with. However, while behind bars, it seems as though he may have turned his life around and truly repented for his actions. Howard had a hatred for one of his school teachers. It seems as though his hatred eventually consumed him, and 16-year-old Howard claimed the life of his teacher. It wasn't long before police honed in on Howard as a suspect, and he was taken to court and was convicted of the crime. His initial sentence was life behind bars. However, several years later, the sentence was reduced to 200 years. Howard had originally been arrested in 1937, but he was released in 2001 after the court system felt as though he'd spent enough time in prison for his actions. He was released after spending 64 years behind bars, living approximately two years as a free man before passing away. Richard Honeck Richard Honeck was still in school back in the 1890s. By 1899, he had a run-in with a former classmate after the classmate witnessed Richard and a few friends setting fires in the local area. The classmate told police what he'd seen, meaning Richard now had to face charges for what he'd done. However, he wasn't going down easily and decided to carry out revenge against the classmate. Richard and an accomplice gathered several weapons together and ambushed the classmate, ending his life. After Richard was caught, he was taken to court and was given a sentence of 63 years behind bars. We don't know exactly how old Richard was at the time of his conviction, but he was finally released in December of 1963 
at the age of 85. Hans Georg Neumann Back in 1962, Hans Georg Neumann was a far cry from the man he is today. More than half a century ago, Neumann came across a young couple who were sleeping in their car. He broke into the vehicle and began to threaten the two with a weapon, pointing it at them and forcing them to drive him home. However, before they arrived at the address, he used the weapon and claimed the lives of both of the victims. He would then steal their valuables and flee the scene of the crime. It took officers just a few days to track him down and send him to trial. When Neumann appeared before the court, he was given a life sentence over the next few years. Neumann would appeal this sentence multiple times, but each appeal was denied. However, just recently, his appeal was granted and news has just been released that Neumann will be a free man once again. He's currently 84 years old and the courts feel as though he's no longer a threat to society, so they've agreed to release him from prison. Johnson Van Dyke Grigsby Johnson Van Dyke Grigsby is the name of a man who had a violent temper that would result in him claiming the life of a friend during a game of poker that got out of hand. The two had been playing poker together, and it seems as though Johnson was satisfied with how the game turned out. We don't know much about the situation, but Johnson eventually approached the man and attacked him with a weapon. A year later, he was seen in court being convicted of murder. Over the next 66 years, Johnson would file more than 30 applications to be released. However, all of these appeals were turned down. It wouldn't be until 1974 that Johnson's case would finally be appealed once again, this time being accepted. By this point, Johnson was already 89 years old, and the courts didn't feel like he would be a threat to anyone anymore. Johnson was over the moon about his release. However, he soon realized that he was not equipped to live in the outside world. He had none of the skills or connections he needed to function as an adult. This meant that, upon his release, he returned to prison after a few short weeks, asking to voluntarily carry out the remainder of his sentence. Just 17 months later, he was released once again and forced to leave permanently. By this point, he was 91 years old. He would spend another 10 years as a free man before passing away of natural causes. Joe Ligon this case is truly bizarre and really makes you wonder how bad can life really be behind bars? Joe Ligon was forced to serve 67 years and 54 days in prison for a crime that he claims he did not commit. Joe grew up in rural Alabama. From a young age, Joe was always getting into trouble. This all culminated in Joe and a few friends carrying out a very serious robbery that resulted in two people losing their lives. Joe and four friends headed to Philadelphia for the robbery, and they were captured almost immediately after committing the crime. As it would turn out, Joe admitted that he had claimed the life of one of the victims with a weapon. However, soon after his conviction, he recanted his confession and insisted that he was not involved in the brutal attack. You can make your own judgments about whether or not Joe was telling the truth, but he insisted that he was an innocent man. He filed numerous appeals, and finally, in the early 1970s, he was given the option to leave prison, but he would be under strict guidance and would have to follow carefully outlined rules of probation. Joe decided he would rather stay in prison than follow these rules. He was given this option once again in 2017, but again, he decided he'd rather remain behind bars. He was finally forced to leave prison in February of 2021 after his sentence was completed and he was released into the free world once again. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos.